So we're here at the Linaro Connect. So who are you? I'm John Stoltz. So what do you do? Uh, basically, I'm working with Linaro, uh, trying to get uh, the Android kernel patches upstream. So what does that mean? Uh, basically, uh, I guess there's a, a, a lot of uh, um, work that the Google developers have done over a number of years uh, developing Android and basically the kernel, the changes to the Linux kernel that they've needed uh, for that and uh, trying to get those changes back into the mainline community trees so that uh, you're able to run Linux or run uh, Android on a standard Linux kernel. Does that mean you are uploading the changes to uh, Google's stuff or to the Linux in general? Well, stuff? it's basically um, pulling the changes that Google has made from you know the, the AOSP common.git tree, um, kind of filtering through, seeing what seems most appropriate to go upstream, um, and then working with folks like Greg to get them into staging or uh, uh, propose uh, uh, possible changes that might be needed to uh, get things upstream uh, for good. So what do you think about his job? Oh, he's doing a great job. Actually, he digs through the Google Git trees, takes out the patches, gets approval, gets the agreement by the Google guys that he did it right, and sends it off to me, and I get it up into the main kernel, and it goes into a release. And then everybody can pull from that easier than having to dig through the Google trees. So you do the hard work. Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect I annoy everyone, but uh, <laughs> it's, me, no, yeah, no. Like, it's one of those things. It's a lot of... Uh, uh, mediation and kind of working a little bit in the middle of everything and so I, I know it can be sometimes obnoxious but uh, hopefully uh, gets discussions going that otherwise don't happen. Does that mean you look at code yes. that others do and send to you? Um, often it's, 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 they don't necessarily send it to me but I do look at a lot of code uh, uh, that others have written and try to see how we could maybe best uh, move that into the common tree. And how is that different? Whoa, there's a boat going. So how's that different from uh, what kind of code you look at? Uh, it is the code I look at. So he gets it and cleans it up and put, sends it through emails to mailing lists to me, and I accept that code and merge it into the main kernel and push it up that everybody can get it from kernel.org instead of the random Google Git branch and tree. So it makes it easier for everybody to get access to the code in a cleaner way. And another reason why it's worth doing to an extent is that there's a lot of uh, devices that are based off of the Android tree, um, and unfortunately those, the drivers that people write for those devices where they're just really kind of focused on Android, we're, we're not able to take those into the mainline kernel if the dependencies um, on the Android tree aren't also in the mainline kernel. So it's basically one of those things trying to make it so that uh, hardware vendors can be able to work more with the upstream community, which allows, you know, their, their hardware to be used in a lot more uh, varied situations and also helps with just maintenance so that, you know, years from now when there's a new kernel, that that, that, that kernel will work with their hardware as well. So how much code are we talking about? How much, how many features um, and stuff? So right now, there's a lot of features. Uh, uh, right now, the current experimental Android 3.8 or Android 3.8 uh, branch um, is I think about 27,000 lines of code um, which isn't really really isn't very huge now this is basically just the generic pieces that uh, all Android devices need um, when you get into the device trees uh, for specific hardware it's, it's a they're much bigger set um, but it, it, it's it's getting to be pretty reasonable it's it's been it, it kind of uh, shrinks and grows as uh, the Google developers continue to implement new features and changes, um, and as parts uh, uh, go upstream, then it kind of shrinks back down a bit. But, uh, and to give you a sense of scale of how much 27,000 lines, it's about one serial driver. So <laughs> one serial port driver is, is 27,000 lines of code. So yeah. it's not that much code. Um, it, it's, well, maybe not. It, yeah. it, it's just that the code is very varied and across a lot of subsystems. So there are a lot of small changes uh, across the board. So trying to figure out how those small changes can be Sometimes they can just go straight upstream. It just requires somebody to actually look at them and <laughs> get, get the maintainers to look at them and, and, and figure out if that's the right approach. Um, but uh, quite often, the, the smaller changes require a, a, a lot of much deeper uh, uh, changes to, in order to go upstream. So sometimes a, a two-line change can blow up into a huge driver rewrite or subsystem <laughs> rewrite or something like that. So, it, it's, so how, how big is it compared to the whole of Linux? Linux, Linux is seven, 16 million lines of code. 16 million? 16 million. And you said how many? 27,000. 27, really? Yeah, it's, it's not huge. So does that mean Android is a small part of Linux, or what well, do you say? Yeah, the Android kernel, I mean, it's just, it uses all of Linux plus a tiny little features and fixes, but every distro or product you build has patches on top of the steam on the kernel.org tree. So it's no different than anybody else. Red Hat has tons of patches, SUSE has tons of patches, Canonical has tons of patches. It's, it's normal, so 27,000 lines is trivial.
really. Trivial? It, trivial. Android is trivial? No, the quantity of what is not in the main kernel <laughs> is the size-wise is trivial. Um, it's just tiny functionality that they've needed for their stuff. So it's not hard for other companies to take that in, but we're trying to make it easier for everybody to be able to do that. So and fix bugs. We've actually fixed a few bugs along yep. the way that other people haven't noticed. Yep. There's, there's so some... community review is good, and he's doing a good job. Does that mean that Android <laughs> is good Linux? Like basically they don't need to change too much from what everybody else is using somehow? They're able to make use of what, what's there in Linux to a great extent, and I think that... Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's because Linux was so popular, it made it something where they were able to go out and find a kernel that works on a broad swath of hardware, and that helped them with their platform. Um, uh, you know, in making it so popular as well, and to some extent, but also, you know, Android's brought a lot of users to Linux, and so uh, it, it's just trying to make sure that as more developers are using it, that they're able to also contribute to the wider Linux community and not just uh, the Android trees. What would you say about the Android? How good Linux is Android? Well. Android uses Linux as a kernel, right? Yeah. Android uses a Linux kernel, so it is Linux. Um, it's as simple as that. <laughs> so it, just Linux? It's, it is Linux. And now it has a bunch of stuff going on. A bunch of stuff above the kernel that's a little bit different than your traditional Linux system that you're used to, but that's not that's an overall that's a larger thing. I mean, Android uses the Linux kernel wonderfully, and they're great that way. So and they're using it because it works for them on their hardware and gives them the features they need, which is great. Could you say something about they could use it even better somehow? No, I mean, honestly, they're doing a really good job. <laughs> I have no problem with the Google developers. <laughs> they're doing a really good job. And this, the work that John's doing is, is valuable and important to all the other people outside of Google. Google makes a product based on their Android phones. So does hundreds of other companies. So Lenaro is making, enabling all these other companies to make Android systems easier. It's something that Google does not have to do, and they don't have to do, and that's fine. That's not their job. So it's, again, 27... It's, a trivially tiny amount of changes, but it's important work that Lenar is doing for the larger Android ecosystem, and it's very good. Do you sometimes fight with Google guys? Uh, I, I, no, I just try not to annoy them too much. That's that's <laughs> my main key. I, I know it, it's often difficult because they know the code very well that they've made modifications to, and you know I have to kind of interpret it from the code itself. So it's, I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, there's not much fighting. They're, they're very helpful. It's a lot of the, the, the work, or a lot of the time they spend uh, explaining things to me is in their free time, so I really appreciate it. Are you somehow so. in between the Lenaro guys and the Google guys? And is well, a Lenaro guy. well, I am a Lenaro yeah. guy, but I, I, it, in a way I do act as a, a, a go-between for some of the community maintainers um, who are managing stuff kind of more in the upstream community and the Android developers themselves who are kind of just working to solve their problems. So Google dumps some code every new release, but how much does everybody else contribute to the whole Android and improving? I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Does that make sense? The question, like, uh, uh, Google works kind of like a little bit in a secret for the next version. Well, so but, uh, how, how for their old? user land, they do do it privately, but for their kernel development, they actually do that up totally in the open. Um, right now, you know, they have a 3.8 tree, which is, you know, 3.8. <laughs> just, it's just, not, it's it's, somebody's it, it, it just finalized very stuff, recently. Right? Um, and so they, they, they do all their kernel work uh, in the open. It, it's, it's not something that necessarily is, you know, publicized, there's not email announcements, that sort of thing about, but at the same time, they, they have a Git tree, they push their stuff out there, um, it's it's visible, people can work with it. Um, they're, they're, they're releasing stuff even kind of earlier, I mean, the 3.8 tree is a great example of something that's kind of their experimental first attempt at, at, at moving to 3.8, and, you know, that's out in the open so people can work with it, and, um, you know, they're... they're, they're do you have any requests from what he does, or like uh, what the what the Linaro guys do to do even better somehow? Uh, my request is not to keep, not to stop. <laughs> He's doing a good job. So no, yeah, and Google is a very good player in this. They're actually much better than a lot of other embedded Linux companies. Very much better. So there's no problem with Google and the Linux kernel community. They are the Linux kernel community. It's great. So Linaro is actually helping the other members of that use Android to make it easier for them. And Keep up the great work. <laughs> <laughs>